Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Supreme Wrestling Federation is now live for the first ever episode of Supreme TV. And shit is already done, got flipped, turned upside down before we even got started, thanks to a parking lot brawl. Holy hell, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get right into it in just a moment. Woohoo! Alright, y'all. I have to give you guys all the information of what took place in the parking lot earlier this evening. And when I say earlier this evening, I'm talking not even but at 30 minutes ago. 30 minutes ago, some business went down in the parking lot, causing all kinds of mayhem and drama. And what the hell are you doing? That a match that was originally booked will not happen. Uh, I'm telling you that right now, it will not happen. So if you guys have this game, great. You can fix your calls when this is over, by the way. But if you got a Twitter, you got a Facebook, you got anything, go share this shit. Let everybody know that we are live. Put it out there. Bring people here to help grow this company. To all of you that have had the opportunity to jump up on the boards and share with everybody your thoughts, your opinions, go on there and just shoot this shit and run your mouth on the Trash Talk board. Kudos to you guys. I much appreciate it. It's been freaking awesome. I'm going to throw this link out right now so it's out there. Boom. People now know where to go if they don't know already. Holy shit. All right. Now, earlier today we were supposed to, well, tonight we were supposed to have a match that was going to see Siali Maki taking on Hawkeye. Well, that's not going to happen, you see? Because while Hawkeye is supposed to take on, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Hawkeye was scheduled to take on Siali Maki. Running Wolf was scheduled to take on Curtis Cage. Well, Siali Maki thought it was a good idea to go in the locker out in the parking lot and attack who he thought was Hawkeye. He attacked Hawkeye, or so we thought. It turned out that it was Running Wolf, and when he was told about what he did, he was informed, you know, that was not Hawkeye. That was not your opponent. That was Running Wolf. And he had the arc sar arc sarcastic comment of, oh, well, you know how the Native American guys all look alike. So as a result, Running Wolf was taken to the local hospital, and Siali Maki, right off the jump, right out the rip, has been already suspended by the Supreme Wrestling Federation front offices and a new match was booked. Now Hawkeye will take on Curtis Cage rather than Curtis Cage take on Running Wolf and Hawkeye take on Siali Maki because he thought it was a good idea to go out there and do what he did. So as you can see things have already got flipped turned upside down and it's out of freaking control out of freaking control out of freaking control. That's right. I'm going to say it three freaking times because I have to. So, with that said, we're going to try and get this show started just in a second because I'm going to share this tweet out. Or not this tweet. I'm going to post on the Call Wrestling Network Facebook group so everybody knows that we're live there as well. See how many people we can get tuning into this. So, this is going to be uh, this is going to be fun. And do remember, guys, nobody got in touch with me about it, which is fine because it is the first show. But we will do live promos. If you'd like to cut a live promo as your character, all we got to do is connect or you send me an audio clip. I can play it or what have you. But let me get in the chat room now. Let's see who's all up in here. Give everybody a shout and we'll get this party started because I'm excited for it, to say the least. All right, here we go. We got... Yeah, yeah. We got the professor. We got Ed. We got Clinton. It says five are currently here. Right now, I'm only seeing the three of them in the chat room. Um, so, like I said, it's early. I don't expect too much to come of this right off the jump. It's always slow when we first get started with a new company. Um, so, hopefully, this new company will last some time. So, let's uh, freaking uh, have some fun with this. Um, and let's get this show going here. You know what I mean? Who's ready for it? Who's ready for it? That's what I want to know. Who's ready for it? Because <laughs> I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Sweet. 
appreciate all the help. Whenever somebody can do anything like that, I absolutely greatly appreciate it. You gotta love how that happens. Uh-oh, got another comment. I just now seen it. Let's get this party started. Nixon Wolf, Greg's in the house. All right, opening contest, as you can see, it's going to be the heartthrob, Mr. Rick Sharp, taking on the Whiskey Rebel, Mr. Todd O'Sullivan. So let's get after it. I love how these things are like that. All right, new arena, by the way, in play. Uh, set everything up, trying to do my best here to give this its own special little look. <laughs> That's right. Let everybody know we here. Go on your Twitters, your Facebooks. Knock on your neighbor's door, even if you don't like them. One thing I wish they did better was loading times. Wish they did the loading times a little bit better. This is episode one. So like I told you, we are building... And we are building to Golden Dreams, the first ever pay-per-view that is going to take place in the SWF at the Wells Fargo Center. What is this? Already in the ring. Oh, shit. Oh, look. He said, no, I'm not going to shake your hand. Rick Sharp and the Whiskey Rebel. Jesus. There's the bell. Oh, my Lord Almighty. What are you doing? I have no idea what happened there. Whiskey Rebel. This is an interesting camera angle, but we can see the stage. This is, we're really going to get to experience this new game. I haven't really got a chance to get into it yet, and the heart drop just got clobbered. Oh, stomped him on the back of his head. How much grease is on his head? Good Lord, it's awfully shiny. Oh, oh, oh! Beautiful maneuver there by Rick Sharp. Rick Sharp, I gotta tell you, he looks awfully sharp. What do you guys think? Give me your opinions in the chat room. Who's gonna win this? Who's gonna take this match home? Oh, and he slams his head down. And if you're unfamiliar with the SWF rankings, you can find them on the boards. Go check them out. Everything starts taking place now. We're gonna build towards Golden Dreams. We're gonna crown some champions. <clears throat> Oh, oh, oh! Beautiful. Nice move there. <clears throat> this went on a crash diet. <laughs> oh, face first. And you see the Whiskey Rebel. Got a little bit of a Whiskey Rebel belly going on. A little too much alcohol. I get that damn beer belly going. Bang! Rick Sharp looks phenomenal shape, though. Oh, nice drop kick. Who likes the panoramic views of, of the camera? You just saw there doing that little setup. Sends him back into the ring. Oh, look at this. Boom, big elbow into the kidneys. Who likes seeing the stage is my question. Or would you rather see the crowd? I don't know what's going on with the camera angle. What the hell was Rick Sharp thinking? Oh, and he gets kicked. Oh, nice stomp there. Slams the arm down. The heart throb gets up and they run right into each other. Look at this. Sends him into the corner. No, turned around. Nice shot. Yep, best cure for the hangover was the wrestling match. Oh, look at that. Look at the athleticism of Rick Sharp. This is unreal. Yeah, I kind of like it a little better myself, not going to lie. I don't know if that's just this way for this match. What the hell? I'm still trying to figure out. I, they say you can change the camera angles, but I don't know how to get it back. Oof. And every match should be under the 10 minute time limit so everybody's aware. I notice it doesn't show the clock. Usually it showed the clock on the 10 minute time limits on the old version of 2K. Oh shit, it's Whiskey Rebel that poked in the eye. Irish whip. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we've just been told Siali Maki has attempted to send a collect call from the jail to the front office to complain over the fact that he got suspended before the first show even happened by attacking the wrong guy in the parking lot. That is unbelievable. That is unfreaking believable. How do you attack the wrong guy? Oh, there's a Native American. I'm going to go get him. Jesus. One. Two. Oh, kick out at one. This is a new arena, too, by the way. Nobody came together, actually, this afternoon. Oh, yeah, that's right. Power bomb that like button. Boom. Suplex the subscribe button. I know our subscriber level dropped below 68, which sucked, but it's already been up over 100 over the last month, so that's cool, and it has a lot to do with this game. I know that right now. We get more views and more likes with wrestling than we do the Total Dominance Football League, but that's fine because I love my football, and I don't plan on sending that anywhere. Oh, my God. How many times has Rick Sharp crashed and burned in this match? Oh, wow. One, two. Oh, he kicked out. I notice we don't have the proper referee either, so that's another glitch that's in the, the game. Nice drop kick. Oh, he hit that one. I thought he was going to miss him again. Oof. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been told we are going to get an update involving Siali Maki later on the show. Oh my god, he missed again! Maybe Rick Sharp was in uh, Todd Sullivan's uh, whiskey. And he might be a little hungover or something. I don't know if having a wrestling match is cured for his hangover. Oh man! Look at that beer belly on the whiskey rebel. He's a sexy beast. Holy, oh, kick your right square in the damn head. Oh, it's been a good battle here between these two. Oof. Where's he going? He's going to go up top. He's going to go up top. Boom! Where's he going? Oh, drives an elbow. Rick Sharp's in trouble. Oh, blocked it. Oh, as soon as I think he's in trouble, he's able to counter. What the hell? Where did Rick Sharp learn these new moves? Look at the athleticism. The loss of weight has made him... Oh, my God! He's never done this stuff before, fly around like this. This is insane. And he misses again. That's why he's missing. He ain't used to this shit. He's confusing himself. That's got to be it. One, two. Oh, he kicked out again. Boom. Irish whip. Nice move. Man, he's just a flippity doo da motherfucker in this match, boys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I saw it, Nixon. Sleeper. The whiskey lullaby is locked in. Whiskey lullaby, and that's it. He went night night. He went night night. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the Whiskey Rebel, Todd O'Sullivan. I see the rings are still in his hand. I got to get that fixed. Wow. He put him in the whiskey lullaby. What is that? What did he just do to him? 
Oh, man. I wish you had the button to go right to the next match. But it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. And here we have it. If you missed it earlier, Curtis Cage was originally scheduled to take on Running Wolf. Hawkeye was originally scheduled to take on Siali Maki. And as everyone was arriving to the arena, Siali Maki attacked Running Wolf, mistaking him for Hawkeye. Running Wolf was taken to the hospital. Siali Maki was arrested for assault and battery, thus setting up this match you see before you. Word is, when Curtis Cage was asked about what happened, he said he really doesn't care which engine he has to face because he's going to do with, to them what the American government did to him, and that's just scalp him anyway. I don't know if that's what the man said or not, but that's the rumors. All right, who you guys got winning this one? If I can understand the camera angles, I could move it around during the match, but I'm afraid I'll mess it up. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, Hawkeye. There you see Hawkeye, 6'2", 270 from Lawton, Oklahoma. Gotta let's go. let's go. tell you, he looks ready. Uh-oh, someone said he's gonna do it. What the hell are you gonna do it? By the way, he comes from the Comanche Nation. For those of you who are wondering what part of the Native American tribe he is from, it is a Comanche. Feck says he's coming back. Uh-oh. Feck looking to try and sign with the Supreme Wrestling Federation here. Welcome to Supreme TV. Tell you now, Feck, if there's something you're thinking about doing and plan on doing, stick around, pay attention to what's going on here tonight. Maybe you can get yourself set up. And ladies and gentlemen, here he is. He is the one and only from Miami, Florida. You know who he is. Curtis Cage. Anybody who's in the chat that's not a part of the company and you want to be a part of the company, that's where you go. Sign up and register. And then you send me your information. I'm admin, A-D-M-I-N, A-D-M-I-N, and admin was his name, oh, something like that, I don't fucking know, but either way, there you see Mr. Cage, oh, I think we're going to have ourselves a war here, I think we're going to have an absolute war, you just send me the information on the uh, boards, how to find your character, and I've told people before, if you need me to make your guy, I will do my best to do it, I'm not the greatest with creating calls, but we'll see. There's the bell. Oh, look, we got the time limit in the corner for this one. So the other one might not have had the time limit set up. Oof. I ain't going to lie to you people. I'm going to be very, very big fan favorite of Mr. Hawkeye here. Oh, damn. Slam his face down. Mm. Damn. Listen to the shots. What's going on? Nice. We're going to build this company up. We're going to have some fun here. There's too many call companies that are bland, boring, drama-filled. Let's just have some fun. Shoot this shit. Carry on. Have a good old freaking time. And like I said, get on over to them boards. Share it out. Join. Get your friends in. Get your family in. Whoever it is you call with somewhere else, I'm going to say it because I can. You ain't going to find a better company than what you're looking at right here. Once we get rolling, everybody else is just going to be the generic brand. They're going to be some shit like the Dollar Tree. We the name brand, motherfuckers. That's all it's going to be. That might sound arrogant and cocky, but it's facts, baby. Oh, shit, Gage. 
We do live promos over here. We do live commentary over here. We keep track of records and rankings and statistics and everything. Look at this gut wrench. Look at the power of the cage. The one thing I got to stop doing is failing and keep the company rolling. Have some fun. Everybody enjoy the ICW. Well, the ICW ain't going to be shit once we get this one rolling. Everybody's going to love this way more than anything ever. Here we go. I'm going to take him over to the corner. Wham! Face first. Hawkeye gets caught with an elbow. Curtis Cage moving in. Big right hand. Still can't believe we were supposed to see Running Wolf against Cage. But Siali Maki attacked him. Oh, he kicked out at none. Although the official looked like he was going to spank him in the ass. I don't know what he was up to. Kinky motherfucker. Oh, elbows to the temple. Oh, Jesus. Big right hand. Oh, walked into an elbow. Nice clothesline from Cage. I got to admit, Cage has always been one of my favorites with the clothesline. He's always hit him so beautifully. His whole career, big clotheslines. Bang, and then now he's dropping elbows on him. Oh, stomp. It's been all Curtis Cage. Absolutely, positively all Curtis Cage. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two tag team matches coming your way this evening. We have a women's match. We're still working on building the women's division. All four of our current tag teams are in action tonight. So that's going to be fun. Oh, shit, we got to count. Two. Cage ain't stupid. He's a veteran. He'll take his time. He ain't in no rush. Uh-oh. Oh, on the floor. Beautiful suplex. If you're in the chat, let me get it. Let me get an SWF chant. Let's go, let's go. No, DDT on the floor. Boy, Hawkeye delivering some high-impact moves here on the outside. Oh, shit. He says, I know how to put somebody to sleep, too, but he's going to catch a jawbreaker. Wow. Oh, and Hawkeye sent into the steps. Gut wrench. Boom. And out of character, I removed any tables around ringside. Make it look like old school. And commentary wasn't at ringside. It was usually up on the stage, which I got to add that up there yet. I didn't get to it yet. I want to put the table up on the stage back in the day. Oh, my God. See, that's something they got to fix. It should have hit the steps. Hawkeye's starting to feel it. He's going to Hawkeye up. <laughs> That's a count out. That's a count out. Wow. Hawkeye defeats Cage by count out. Unbelievable. I didn't expect to see a count out. Jeez almighty. Here we go. Bushido versus Jacob. Rage. I'm excited to see these two guys. Two new people to the company. Two new people to the channel. This should be absolutely positively off the hook with Bushido and Jacob. Freaking Rage. I got to see it. I got to hear it. You got to let me know up in the chat who you got winning this one. Stop being afraid to pick your winners, man. Tell me who you got. And don't forget, swfzone.proboards.com. Get registered. Get me your hashtags. We'll get you added to the company as soon as we get your information. And I can get on the community creations and get you downloaded. I will get the rankings updated sometime into tonight and tomorrow. That's right. We will have brand new rankings. They will be up. I'm not doing a top five for each title like we used to do. It's just going to be top to bottom, and the champion will be in there where he falls, although I may keep the world champion at the top. So I'll basically put the world champion at the top with his points and everybody below. And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Bushido. He is freaking a beast. He's known as the Ronin Warrior. He is a samurai, he says. We shall see. Man, look at them toes. Man, he is a little fella. Bushida's only 5'4", 175 pounds. Rage is 6'3", 255 from your darkest fears. That would mean I'd have to get back with my soon-to-be ex-wife. Um, 
This is, he's an interesting looking dude here. He's so small. I will have to check into the camera angles here. Oh, what is this? Everything just went dark, black and white. What's happening here, Jacob Rage? There you see oh, all the samurai gear is now off. Got that Japanese space paint with a mask. Coming in from stage right. There you see him, Jacob. Rage. The Jamaican Peck. What's going on, Mr. Deering? If you're in here watching, let me know. I'm gonna, I'll give you a shout. It says 13, 14 are watching. I'll give every last one of you a shout. Give everybody some love. You're going to take the time to pop in and see what we're doing. I just, you know, you earned the right to at least hear your name mentioned on the air. Because I appreciate everybody who takes the time. Look at Rage. This is the third match of the evening. Nine big matches, ladies and gentlemen. Nine big matches. Got several good ones coming up yet. Platinum Blondes, as they were called, coming into this week. Changed their name to the Canadian Blondes. Get to take on Bad Intentions. The other tag team match, the Throwbacks, who I'm very excited to see, taking on Southern Comfort. We've got an old school rivalry. K.O. King taking on Keith freaking James. Holy hell. I mean, that was freaking going to be a match. Apollo Adonis taking on Alex Dark. Camera Lady and Raven Nightfall. The Professor takes on Bobby freaking Idol. And the Professor, he was very irritated this week. Absolutely, positively irritated this week. I don't know if anybody had been paying attention to what was going on behind the scenes of the SWF, but he made sure that his censorship committee is involved. Apparently, Bobby is infringing on his trademarks and his copyrights, and the professor ain't having it. He's just not having it. He just ain't doing it. Edwin, Clinton's there, Fex there, Todd's there. You were in the opening contest, Todd. Look at the size difference. Jeez almighty. Oh, oh! And it was kind of weird. Bushido kind of stepped over the top rope, which should not be happening when you're a midget. Oh, I'm sorry, a little person. Look at this. Oh, Rage is going to try and end his career. What the hell? He barely hit it. Might be wise to kick him in the face. Gotta tell you what, he's fast as hell. Rage just looks like he's strong as hell. Oh, my goodness, what a flying knee. What is that he's wearing? Is that a freaking blanket or a part skirt? I don't know what that is. Maybe that'll come off during his wrestling match. I'm not sure what's going on there. He seems awfully cold. He's got on leg. I don't know what the hell that. I don't know what's going on here with Rage. Maybe he's just mental. That could be what's going on with him. Oh my goodness! Both guys missing moves here. Collar and elbow. Oh boy. Oh. I don't not like Bushido's chances in this match. I just don't. He's too small. Oh. <laughs> That's what he's got to do. Use your speed, kid. Come on. Use it. Oh, into the top turnbuckle. God, he's so tiny. There it is. <laughs> oh, man. He went to the school of camera lady doing all those damn kicks. We caught wind this week that camera lady has been training an all-new style, all-new everything, and apparently she won't look the same, whatever that's supposed to mean. Kicked out at one. And Jacob Rage is like, what? You're going to have to do a little bit more damage to him than that, even though he's a little guy. Oh, is he a southpaw? Driving down left-hand shots. Hey, as a southpaw myself, I got to say, I like it. I like it. Picks him up. Oh, missed that right hand. There's a right hand of Bushida's nice clothesline. Bounce right back up a second time. Duck under. Wow, my God. Crescent kick. That's right. I call it a crescent kick because that's technically what it is. That's its real name, fools. Look at this. Oh, shit. He snapped suplex the big fella. Oh, boy. Bushida's impressing. Did he really just say suck it? Did he really tell this man to suck it? Oh, he missed and rages in the ring. 
Irish whip. Nope. Oh, caught him. Oh, look, look. Look at the speed and the agility. Oh, shit. Down goes Rage and Bushido's on fire here. Someone get that fire extinguisher. Nice move there. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Bobby Backlund's happy. Bobby Backlund is so proud. He's trying to get him to out. Look at them, look at them squealing. They let him go. Why'd you let him go? Slams down the arm. Off to the freak. Oh, oh boy. He's up top. And <laughs> Ray says, nah, bro. But he gets drop kicked on the floor. Oof. Ah, I see another glitch. That's nice. Oh, it kicked him in the head. Where's he going? Four. 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 Rage is going to take a nap. I don't know, but here comes Bushida. Oh, man. Oh, did he just kick him in the balls? Goes for the cover. No, he's in the rope. You gotta know where you're at, kid. You just saved Rage potentially from a pin. Oh, he's running up top again. Look at this. Rage looks like he's out. Big Alabama jam. He hit an Alabama jam. I love it. Rest in peace, beautiful Bobby Eaton. Oh my god, what a close line. Bushido is coming back in and Rage is waiting on him. Oh, too fast. Oh, he was too fast. Dock under, oh, drop down, excuse me, nope. Here he goes again, here comes that kick. Bat! Oh my goodness. He's telling Rage, come on, come on, come on. Bushido's getting a little cocky here. He's getting a little arrogant. He might pay for this. Oof. Rage is up, gets caught again. Oh, elbows again and again. Damn, that was a heavy elbow. Boop. Oh, no. Boom! And Rage is feeling the freaking shots. Hit him with a pedigree. It's going to give him the opportunity to catch his win. Both men are down, and why is the official not counting? Know your job, you stupid little idiot. He should have been counting. Steps on the hand and wrist. Oh, look at this. Stepping on the fingers. Not on his masturbation hand. That's not cool. Series of right hand stomp to the gut. <laughs> oh, he missed. Look at what the hell. He rolled out of there so quick. Big right hand by Bushido. Look at this. Again. Oh, he's chicken wagged him again. No, no. Rage says no. Hey, he powered out of that one. Man, look at the aggression on that Irish whip. Drop down. Oh, my God. He did a leapfrog. Boom. Flapjack. Goes for the cover. One. Two. They kicked out. Oh, please slow with the count there, Mr. Official. What's your problem? You better be lucky Jacob Rage don't bitch slap you soon. Oh, elbow. <laughs> right in the collarbone. The speed of Bushido's getting in the way here. One, two, three. Hit him with the, Oh, man. Holy hell, that was impressive. Paint wearing off his face and everything in that one. I don't know if the chat room is dead or the chat room froze. Holy hell. That was wild. Oh, shit. Time for our tag team match. Our first tag team match. The Canadian Blondes versus Bad Intentions. I can't tell you the last time I've seen that happen in real life, let alone in the video game. 
I mean, he hit him with the back suplex. Oh, my God. This is crazy. And, ladies and gentlemen, the Canadian Blondes come in at a combined 478 pounds. 478 pounds. On the left there is Georgie Armani the third, And I do it like that because CJ hates it. And his tag team partner is Ricky Rose, who's recently cut his hair. And on the right, in the orange base paint, is the Mastodon. In the purple is Colossus. Their manager is Ziggy Dahara. But these boys are a combined 730 pounds. They are almost 300 pounds heavier. Almost 300 pounds heavier than the Canadian Bonds. So, this is going to be insane. We know these boys are technicians. All the freaking videotape on the Canadian Blondes serves complete tag team. And there they are, the Canadian Blondes. Ricky Rose and Georgie Armani the third. I gotta admit, I might have to get me one of them shirts. They are sexy as hell. The Canadian Blondes. What is Ricky Rose doing? Boy, get your ass in the ring. You're lucky you're employed here. Word is the boss don't like wrestlers that don't wear knee pads. And you want to dance your way down the ring like a fool. This is wild. Boy, Ricky Rose is something else. What's wrong with this guy? Oh, you can tell he's the clown of the two. Giorgio Armani, man, he's put together. You can tell. Look at the size of those biceps. Sheesh. They're going to be able to handle the size of bad intentions. Here they come. Colossus on the left. Mastodon on the right. Now you see Ziggy Dahara. Poor girl. You can tell she used to be pretty, but she got herself burnt up. No story on that yet. We're not sure what happened. Not sure what happened to her, but you can see all the burn marks that she suffers across her face. That's why she's a scary looking chick as a result. Oh. What a trio these three are. Look at the size of Mastodon. He looks like he's about to give fucking birth. There you see Ricky Rose. <clears throat> oh, he's going to start out against Mastodon. Oh, boy. There's the bell. Oh, my God. Right out the gate. Back that ass up. Now here comes the power of Colossus. Ooh. And they're going to have to use their speed, much like the match we just saw. Damn. Speed versus power. Oh, he got power and size. Unbelievable. Oh, jeez almighty. There's the tag. Giorgio Armani the third now in the ring. Colossus with a big knee to the gut. What do you guys think of these two tag teams? Nice clothesline by Georgie. Oh, nice elbow. Oof. There's the tag again. In comes Ricky Rose. Oh, but he gets caught into a DDT. Jeez, almighty Mastodon's a massive individual. Oh, Ricky he tosses him right into his own partner. Armani almost fell off. Oh, he missed. Mastodon falling off the apron. He must have smelled food. I don't know what the hell is going on with that guy. Good lord. Oh, nice shot by Ricky Rose. Clobbering him. Another shot. Double axe handle blast. And again. And down goes Colossus, and he smartly goes to the floor. Another tag by the Canadian Blondes. Boy, they're like technicians in here, boy. A series of quick tags in and out. Sorry, their fourth or fifth tag, maybe even more. While Bad Intentions has only had one, and there's another sleeper hold. 
The Whiskey Rebel is going to get pissed off. Everybody's stealing the Whiskey Lullaby on him. Look at that shot. Oh, and slams his head down. Drops the leg. Boy, Colossus is a big man. Boom. Match number four of the evening. There's the tag. Here comes the big man, the Mastodon. I'd love to see the Mastodon pull a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. That'd be absolutely great. Canadian Blondes looking good early. <clears throat> oh, into the turnbuckle. Boom. Oh my goodness, the power on that shot by Ricky Rose. The hell was he? Oh, what a clothesline. One, two, and he kicked out. Man, that was close. For a diving tag. Uh oh, look at this with one arm. Are you kidding me? Wow. Woo. DDT by Colossus. <laughs> Look at the power. Slams him down. Damn. <clears throat> I gotta tell you, they're impressing me right now. They are impressing me. Oh, big right hand by Mastodon. Right his back. Are you kidding me? I love it. That's old school right there, boy. Oh. Sam, he launches Armani into the ring. Oh. Man. That is wild. Ooh. No way in hell he got him up like that. No way. That is crazy. Oh. <laughs> like stunned right now. Did I just see that? Yes. Tag team should look the same. Love that. Oof. He said, there's the tag. Dragon Georgie. Oh, I thought he was going to get a big splash or something. That would have been crazy. What's he going to do to him here? Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. He's just beating on him. 
I thought Georgie would have tagged out and hit him with a beautiful elbow there. So the tag was made. Oh my goodness, Ricky Rose is extremely, extremely impressive here. Look at that. You get too close, Ziggy might smack the shit out you, boy. She might say, bitch. Bop. see the power now of bad intentions it might start changing here one two and he kicked out look at Georgie Georgie's done drunk out on his feet like he don't know what to do right now Oh my God, Georgie caught him. This is insane. This is just crazy, y'all. Absolutely crazy. Look, I'm held him wide open. Big fellow's going for a ride. They do him clean out the damn ring. One, two. Oh, he kicked out. Oh, oh my goodness. My lord. One. Two. We might go to a draw. We might go to a draw. Oh. This is going to be a draw. Boom. Maybe. He kicked out and we've got a draw. Wow. Thoughts on that one, ladies and gentlemen. That is wild right there. We got ourselves a draw. Tag team wrestling. Holy shit. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been informed... Wow, this is uh this is not what I expected to hear at all. But I've just been informed that next week Siali Maki, Curtis Cage, Hawkeye and Running Wolf will all get in the ring together. And I was thinking they might book a tag team match, but it's not. It's a fatal four way. We're going to see a fatal four-way between the four of them. I find that very interesting. Here we go. Old school rivalry right here. Keith James and the KO King. These guys have met more times than I can count. More times than I can count. I'll tell you that right now. These boys have put on hellish matches against each other in the past. So I expect nothing less right here today. There you see Keith James. 
Man, these guys have had nothing but respect for each other over the years, even though they've beaten the hell out of each other. Okay, throw that right out the window. Keep James, you look behind you. That's a KO King. Oh, right on the stage. Big backbreaker. Wow. I don't even know what to say. I'm just getting ready to say they respect each other. And he tried to sneak attack my guy. Unbelievable. Oh! <laughs> I don't know. He didn't get his jacket off yet. Unbelievable, man. This is insane. This is insane. Uh oh. There's the bell. Poor Keith James still in his jacket. Jump down. Leapfrog. Oh, oh, swinging that breaker. Boom. Good shot of the crowd. K.O. King might pay for what he did. Keep James has been on it. Oh, man. What's he going to do here? Oh, he shot him straight up. This is not going to be good. United Pro Wrestling League. <laughs> Boom. Boom. No. Yeah, K.O. King's paying for this. He wanted to sneak attack him, and look what's happening. Yigan got caught up, buddy. Just got your ass in there. Look at him. He's hurt. He tried to break his eyeballs. If you can break eyeballs. Keith James is walking back and forth. He is furious to the point he's not sure what he wants to do. Gets back in the ring. By the way, that's top championship wrestling in the ring, if you guys remember. <laughs> in the chat. I think I said in the ring, but in the chat. One. Two. Oh, not even a two. He kicked out. Is this always the angle you get? And I don't know what's up with the toggle info button. I see that up there. Is there any way to turn that off? Anybody know? Like I said, first time doing this when this this particular 2K game, I've got to learn some things. Some of y'all might know more than me. Jeez almighty. Cover. One. Two. Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner in dominating fashion, Keith James. Wow. That. Holy cow. That was impressive. That may be single handedly the most <laughs> impressive win of the night because he did it dominating form. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for some ladies' action. Ah, turn the stage cam off. Gotcha. Appreciate you, brother. We'll turn that off for the next show. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. 
We're going to see the Angel of the Dark, Raven Nightfall, take on Camera Lady. Woo! Holy hell. I'm excited. I'm excited. Who you guys got winning this one? Who's your prediction? Be Raven Nightfall, or is it going to be Camera Lady? And remember, ladies and gentlemen, don't be afraid to register for the boards. Get your call information to me. Get added to this. There she is, five foot six, one hundred and thirty pounds from Planet Venus at Dawn. I did not miss say that. From Planet Venus at Dawn, the Angel of the Dark, Raven Nightfall. She definitely did have some interesting stuff. She's a mental case to say the least. My lady and gentlemen, here she is. She does known the world over. All five foot seven, one hundred fifty-five pounds of her from government hiding Canada. Camera lady. Like the fact that she's kind of wearing SWF colors. Not quite the same blue, but close enough. Look at this sprinting to the ring. Most decorated woman's wrestler in ICW history. Will she be able to do the same thing here in the SWF? What is this? What is that attitude? Okay. What was that? Appreciate the support and the love. Oh my God, you saw a spit fly out of her face. Man. Oh, nice knee to the head. Oh, was that a straight kick? Oh, there's. Jeez. They're back and forth on each other. Oh, there she goes. She's going to work. Raven Nightfall. Such a creepy woman. Raven Nightfall was fired from her old wrestling promotion that she worked for before she came to the SWF because she went to her rival's home and stuck the cat in the damn oven and she cooked it. Left it in there. So the owner came home and tried to figure out where the cat was, but smelled something and opened up the oven. And there it was. She cooked that bitch at 350. Slow cooked that motherfucker. It was a rotisserie kitty. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Nice move by Raven Nightfall. Damn. Camera lady's in trouble here. I'm sure she's never faced anything like this. Ooh, she sidestepped the steps. Nice move by Raven Nightball, but that time she didn't. She fell over. Oh, nice double axe handle. Ladies and gentlemen, give me a second. I'm being handed a sheet of paper here. I'm supposed to read this, and it states, and I'm going to read this. This is exactly what it says. It says, Camera Lady, watch your back. I'm coming. Maybe she's not on her knees. Um, wait, never mind. Um, but anyway, I don't know what that's about. But somebody's apparently coming for camera lady. I don't I don't know who that is. We'll have to figure that out. Maybe camera lady knows what she did wrong to somebody. I have no idea what's going on. Ladies and gentlemen. Speaking of camera lady, I was just told that the professor is backstage and he has a trio of gentlemen with him. I don't know who they are, but apparently Bobby Idol came into the room 
or the area of wherever they were in whatever corridor it was and saw them and tried to get after the professor. Security got in the way, but one of the gentlemen was grabbed and put in some type of stranglehold. And apparently he's injured his neck. I don't know who the man is. And apparently being looked at by paramedics. We'll have to figure out who these people are backstage with the professor. Oh, she's gonna beat on this side of the chest this time. Jeez. Raven Nightfall is a beast. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he said running wolf the cheap man. What did running wolf do? He got attacked. Poor fellow. Oh wow, what a kick. I had to get a hold of 2K because all these matches were booked with the 10 minute time limit. And some of them had it and some of them don't, so that's a glitch. Another sleeper hold. I swear it's in every move set. Jawbreaker. Boom. I got to admit, it's been a long time since we've seen Camera Lady take a beating like this. She has been getting destroyed. Uh oh, where's she going? Got in the ring at seven. Ooh, nice shot. Uh oh, fireman's carry. Oh, there's a kick to the head. We've seen Cameron Lady perform that move many a times. Oh, kick to the back. Seems weird not to see her in bare feet, but I gotta tell you, the way she likes to use those feet, these boots might suit her well. As you saw, that big stomp to the face. One, and a kick out of one. Why does that official look like he's trying to take a shit? Someone kick him in the stomach and see what happens. Oh, man. One, two. Not a kick out at two. And Camelady can't believe it. Nice move by Camelady. Picks her up. Look at this. Beautiful package. Where is she going? She's up top. She's waiting for Raven to get up. Camera Lady's going to fly here. Big body splash. Oh, she counted. Look at the power of Raven Nightfall. Boom. Holy shit. That was impressive. Damn. To the cover. One, two. Oh, she can't count again. Being had another piece of paper here. One, two, and a kick out. Ladies and gentlemen, this says no matter what happens in this match, win, lose, or draw, the front office loves what they see, and they're going to have these two ladies do it again next week. So whoever loses will have the chance for revenge next week. Was that a superwoman punch from the top? And Cavalady gets out the way. Oh, that could be it. No, but she's getting up. She did not even attempt to stay down. Oh, stretching the ham, he's out. Picks Raven up. What is this? Nice snap suplex. Love a snap suplex. So does the dynamite kid. Oh, kicks, kicks. Oh, boy. Kick the square between the titties. Oh, Raven ain't stupid. She got out the way. But Camera Lady, you're going to get caught if you don't come off of that quick. Oh, she missed her. Oh, what the hell, Raven did. <laughs> Irish whip. Oh, right hand. Oh, look at this. Boom! One, two. Ah, oh, she kicked out. I thought 
thought she had her right there. Boom. How the hell did she kick out? And now camera lady going to the top again. Holy shit! That's gotta be all she wrote right there. That's gotta be it. If she kicks out, one, two, three, and she gets it done. She got out of there quick. Raven was able to pop up right after the pit bull. Oh shit! She punched the official! She punched the official! Oh no! She punched the official! Unbelievable! That is crazy. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Huge match here. And as I stated earlier in the week, Professor had the following thing to say to the Platinum Standard Bobby Idol, and it was, My censorship committee has informed me that you've infringed upon my trademark and copyright... Your plagiarism will be dealt with in the ring as part of your punishment. So, ladies and gentlemen, he said his censorship committee is coming after Bobby Idol. I've never in my life heard of such a committee, but if anyone was going to have one, it's definitely the professor. I have no idea who you think it is. I don't know. There's five guys on the screen. I don't know who you're looking at. I'm still trying to get some information here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the professor. And accompanying him to the ring, I've been told, is in fact his censorship committee. They are Marty Parker, Morgan Steiner, and Mr. Shibata. And the game has glitched out and put him in the ring with the wrong entrance gear, but that's okay. We can get that fixed next week. I love that. Because I need to delete this gear anyway. He wants the other one. The gentleman wearing the hat is Marty Parker. Morgan Steiner is more of the lawyer of the censorship committee. He's the now wearing the neck brace. He's the one Bobby Idol attacked. And Mr. Shibata represents his Japanese branch. Whatever that's supposed to mean. But there you see the professor. He looks like he's ready to go. And here he comes. The Platinum Standard, Bobby Idol. Look at this guy. Oh my goodness. Ain't he so purdy? Look at that guy. I haven't seen CJ in the chat much. I don't even know if he's still around. He might be on his PlayStation cussing people out. More Madden. Oh, shit. Who do you guys got winning? Oh, this is going to be a good match. I can feel. Look at that. The censorship committee's all on the outside. Unbelievable. Oh, nice shot. Big belly to back suplex. Ah, oh, drives the knees. Ah, oh, the beautiful boots of the professor says truth down the boot. 
Look at them circling. Look at them circling. Oh, elbow, knees, and fucking clotheslines and kicks and stomps. He's all over Bobby, but he got caught there. Irish whip sends him into the corner. Big clothesline. Professor's in trouble. <laughs> it could be what happened. <clears throat> I love Bobby Idol. I ain't going to lie. He looks great. Oh, man. You guys can download Bobby Idol off the freaking Community Creations. He's up. In case you've ever wanted something like that on your roster. <laughs> Look at this. That's a ripcord right there. Turned him inside out. Get out of the way, ref. Oh, hangs him up over the top rope. Oh, my goodness, what a clothesline. When Bobby Idol signed with the SWF, he had told everybody straight from jump, he will be the world's heavyweight champion. He's been doing media tours, building up to the night, letting everybody know that it all starts with the professor. If he loses here, he's so much for that thought. Look at the power of the professor. One and a kick out, man. You, you got to feel bad. Look at it. Look at him on the floor right there. The gentleman in the middle with the freaking neck race, Mr. Morgan Steiner. Oh, Bobby Idol is trying to strangle the guy and hurt his neck. Kudos to him for being out here. And there you see Mr. Shibata going on the far bottom there. Oh, wiping off his arm. In charge of the Japanese division. Irish whip. Drop down. Look at the speed. Oh, Superman punch by the big man. One, two, and he kicked out. Oh, my goodness. I thought that was the end right there for the professor. But he kicked out. Tells him to get up, get up, get up. Professor's up. Drop kicked him right in the mush. Holy hell, look at that line salt. Professor, there you see the veteran ability of him rolling to the floor to try and catch his breath real quick. And Bobby Idol keeps putting his arms up like, what do you do that for? Well, why the fuck do you think, fat bitch? Collar and elbow. Professor going to try and work him to the corner. Boom. Oh, look at this. Big shot to the face. Man, Morgan Steiner is leaning on the freaking row. What the hell? Look at the athleticism of the professor. This is a monster superplex. Wham. <laughs> and look at Marty Parker clapping and pointing. One, two, and he kicked out. Morgan Steiner pounding on the game. And gone. Come on, professor. Oh, shot to the gut. He said, no way, no way. Well, another shot. Mr. Shibata can't believe what just happened. Goes for the cover. One. Then a kick out at one. Will the professor have the same fate as camera lady? Get their ass whooped for a while and then come back and win. Boop. Oh, damn almighty. That's got to be it. Look at him. He's sleeping. Two. And he kicked out. He was straight night-night. He was taking a nap. And somehow he kicked out. And the crowd is screaming. Fight forever. And a back elbow by the professor. Look at the power. Look at the power. Boom. Oh, my goodness. Bobby the fat slob boy, <laughs> yeah, Bobby was out of control, the fat slob boy, look at the censorship committee, they're yelling at the crowd, oh, oh, god, god, I need a face, one, two, then he kicked out, how much more can the professor take, how much more can he take,
One, two, three, not so much more. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Bobby Idol. Wow. I think Bobby was in his head. I think Bobby was in his head. Bobby kept using all his yeah yeahs and truths and comments all week, got in his head, attacked his censorship committee guy. <sighs> Unreal. Interesting. <laughs> Here we go. The throwbacks. Taking on Southern Comfort. For those of unaware of who is who here and who is what, allow me to explain. <laughs> this way everybody's aware of which guy is which during this match. We will go from left to right. On the left, the far left, that is Calvin Sanders. And next to him is Jack Lazarus. They are the throwbacks. And on your right-hand side, you have Southern Comfort. The one with the dark hair and the, the freaking mustache and the goatee and the beard and all that and whatnot. That's Brody Black. And the little fellow with just the facial hair and the chin, that is Kip Swede. This ain't over, fat slob. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here they come. Jack Lazarus, Calvin Sanders, the throwbacks. Boy, they look like they're determined, don't they? Mm. Woohoo! Good deal, Drew. Love it. Well, whatever it was, it sure as hell worked, at least for tonight. <laughs> Beat the hell out of the KO King. Look at that. <laughs> Calvin Sanders is 5'10", 225. Jack Lazarus, 6'1", 255. They are straight throwback type of talents. Let's see what they do when they get in the ring. And here comes the Southern Comfort. Brody Black and Kip Sweet. Oh, boy. Look at this redneck shit. <laughs> Look at Brody pointing. Kip Sweet driving it. Oh, boy. <laughs> Good God. What is that thing? Come on, Kip. Let's go. Come on, Kip. Get out the damn ride. Let's go. Brody Black jumping over the top rope. He's the muscle of the team, that's for sure. Kip Swede is going to be the speed and agility. Jack Lazarus looks like he's going to start against Brody Black. Here we go. There's the bell. Oh, nice boot to the gut. Big clothesline. And down goes Lazarus. Jawbreaker, boom. Woo, playing him on his face. Where's Jack going? What is he doing? Oh, so he goes after Calvin. Where's Jack going? He playing mind games with this guy. And unfortunately, his tag team partner paid for it. Irish whip countered. Oh, 
got to admit to y'all, every time I see Jack Lazarus, he just reminds me of a full head of hair Arn Anderson. I don't know. I'm crazy for feeling that way, but that's what I feel like when I see him. A uh, full head of hair Arn Anderson kicked him away. And every time I see Calvin, I think of Butch Reed. Boom, into the corner. There's the tag here. Comes Calvin. I'm a big fan of Calvin Sanders. I saw some footage of him this week, and I'll tell you what. love what I see out of this guy. Look at that step. Bing. Nice elbow drop. Boom, and another one. Bang, and another one. Oh, nice stomp. Mm. That's right, technician. That's what I thought of Calvin. Oh, drives that elbow again. And again into the chest of Brody Black. Look at Kip Swede. Kip Swede's getting antsy. He wants to get in there. There's the tag back into Jack. Brody should have went and made a tag himself. Jack, beautiful elbow. Cover. One, two, and a kick out. I gotta tell you, that was close. Put the boots to him now. Nice elbow drop. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, I just got word. Bad intentions. And the Canadian Blondes will do battle again next week in a rematch. Oh, snap, Calvin. Oh, hung him up on the top. And Jack's got him from behind. Oh, he needs a back elbow. Irish whip. Drop down. Big backdrop. Let's get that chat room hot. Look at this. Dragging that hand and tangly taped hand across the face. Big knee to the temple. Kip Swede now up on the apron. Kip Swede is yet to get in the ring. Throws him into the turnbuckle. There's the tag. Here comes Kip Swede. Puts the boot in the corner. That's tag team action right there, boys. Working together. Oh, he cut him off. He thought. Dropped the elbow and missed. Big clothesline and down goes Kip. Kip pops right up, though. Oh, barely hit him with that. Jack's got him. Belly to back suplex. Oh, he was trying to get over there and make a tag, and he didn't get there. Kip too fast for him. Nice shot to the gut. Oh, elbow. Oof, make the tag. No. Irish whip. Drop down. Leapfrog. Oh, I missed the elbow. And Kip comes flying across the ring, and they run into each other. Oh, he runs into a clothesline that time. <clears throat> Lazarus paying attention. Beautiful neck breaker. Look at this, man. The throwback. You ain't seeing no flippity floppity stuff out of these boys. And straight wrestling moves, man. You gotta love it. Technical skills from the throwbacks. Lazarus got to make a tag. Salute, <laughs> Dez. And Kip going to work. Goes for the cover. Here comes Calvin. Calvin is said, nah, never mind. What the hell were you thinking? You either make the save or you don't, he said. I don't know. There's the tag to Brody. Lazarus just gets up to his feet. Big clothesline. He's got to make a tag. He's exhausted. Beautiful executed neck breaker once again. Tell him, let's go, let's go. And here comes Brody. Nice knee lift. There's the tag back out to Kip. And we are at the five minute mark. Five minutes to run by. He tried to go after him and he got caught. And look at the move by Brody. Oh, shoulder tackle. Southern Comfort. All over the throwbacks here. You can see the exhaustion. He is moving very slow. Going around now. Going to check on his partner. Got to get in the ring. Calvin's down. And Calvin's out. What the? Oh, what a DDT. Goes for the pin. One, and there's the save from Brody Black. Elbow right in the kidneys. A 
nice move there. Oh, but Kit pushed him away. Moved. Don't work him into the corner. Double team here. Oh, he was going for the tag, but Kit hit him with an elbow. Oh, there's a stunner. One, two, but he kicked out. Whoo, I honestly didn't think he was going to do it. Tag team wrestling. Kip's looking exhausted. There's the tag to Brody. Man, Jack has had it. He can't get hit with anything else, and he gets hit with a discus clothesline. Good grief. One, two, three. Holy hell. The Southern Comfort did exactly what they needed to do. They kept knocking his tag team partner off the apron, no matter who was in the ring. Oh, venting quick tags. Inventing, preventing quick tags. I think that was the difference in this match. Good tag team strategy there by Southern Comfort. Wow. <laughs> Why does it keep coming to here? I don't understand. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time. Alex Dar and Apollo Adonis, the first match that ever got booked. And out of character, I'll tell you right now, the main reason why it did is these two took to our boards. They took to our boards, and they were the first two to engage in some interaction with each other on a serious level, as in in character for the game. So I jumped on it and said, let's book them. Let's have some fun. There's the link to the boards once again. So you can get in there, get registered. I know since we've been doing the show, <clears throat> Nixon Whoop, I believe, registered. I don't know if he's still here with us. But he was able to register for the boards. Well, let's see. I think I have more than one now, but I could be wrong. I'm going to take a look. Yes, Keith James registered. Nixon Wolf liked the thread. Nixon Wolf registered. So that's cool. Good to see Keith James on the boards. All right, who do we got winning this main event? There he comes. The Great Lakes badass Alex Starr. Oh my god, what are you doing? It's gotten into Alex Starr. So They're so pathetic, you redheaded bitch. Get your ass in the ring. Your Great Lakes badass. Boom, 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 boom. Gotta love that. Let's see if the Great Lakes badass can take out the gladiator. And I do think I need to start working on getting some upgrades on some people's movesets, by the way. And here comes the gladiator himself, Apollo Adonis. Apollo Adonis was a little upset with the committee who said he's not allowed to wear what they called the suit of armor there on the chest. He responded back saying, this is crap, this is not right. This thing ain't nothing more than like a t-shirt. You're taking away my gimmick, so to speak, what I've worked so hard for. But the word is, the SWF front offices did not give in, and it will have to come off before the match starts. But word is, Apollo Adonis is not gonna let it go too easily. It may even end up in the courtroom. We're not sure yet. Uh, 
The man's in shape. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't want to cover it up if I was him. And there you see it. It's off. Guy's in great shape. There's the bell. Big shot. And asking around the wrestling world for those who've actually seen Apollo Adonis and Alex Dar, I will tell you right now, it's about a 70 30 split that Dar is better. Excuse me, that Adonis is better. So apparently most people believe Apollo Adonis is the better talent. I guess we're going to find out here tonight. These shots right across the temple and forehead. Stomp. Kick to the face. Look at this. Okay, Dar. A little tumbleweed. And he's going to do it again. Oh, knees up. Boom. And I will say it, I've noticed the numbers are going down the further we get in the show. It's kind of something we went through in the past. I try to always figure out why that happens. I got a feeling some people stick around watching their match and they split. That's why I always ask for activity and talking in the chat. So I know you're still around. I know you got lives. So say bye if you got to go. It's cool. Ah, oh, nice belly to black. Belly to back. Boy. It's going to roll again. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh. Goes for the cover. One. Trying to kick out at one. You're not going to beat this guy a minute and a half in. Nice body splash. Irish scoop into the corner. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Look at Dar going to work. Oh, nice shot. Look at this pump handle. Damn! Where did that come? Oh my god, Dar is killing it right now. One, two, and a kick out. Yeah, that's why going forward, I'm going to try and do like five match cards. Speak people who ain't got to be on here forever and try to figure out a way to do maybe two or even three shows a week and five matches a show. So they don't take as long. What a counter by Dar. I would love to do the shows at about an hour. An hour tops. That's the plan. Right now we're at an hour and what, 40 minutes, give or take? Oh, he sidestepped him. If you guys haven't hit that thumbs up, please do power bomb that thumbs up button right now. Make sure you suplex the subscribe button. Yeah, one hour and 34 minutes, which is actually way better than I thought it was going to be. Oh my goodness, Dar. Dar is probably, in my book, one of the most underrated talents we've ever seen on this channel. The kid has accomplished so much every freaking where, and he has beaten the best of the best. <clears throat> Cannot be denied, yet for some reason he doesn't get the respect he deserves. Oh, nice move there by a double A. Goes for the cover. One, two. Oh, and Dar kicked out the last quarter second. Oh, man. Crowd screaming, they're not worthy. Then get the hell out. Nice stomp. And again. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching SWF Supreme TV. The first ever episode. Oh, Jesus. No, oh, missed that stomp. Oh, nice kick. Ladies and gentlemen, just been told there's a lot of commotion going on backstage area. I don't know what it is. Somebody give me the details instead of just telling me there's commotion. 
What's happening per se? Let's go. A little, little more detail. Oh, wow. The professor has attacked Bobby Idol. The professor has attacked Bobby Idol. Told him this is what you get for putting your hands on my censorship committee, you big fat slob. Holy hell, all hell's breaking loose backstage. Damn! Dar is aggressive in this match. What is Dar up to? Oh my god! Nice elbow shot. Boom! In the ropes. Apollo Donis picking Dar up. Just launching him ass. What a match here on Supreme TV. Supreme Wrestling Federation. Baby Dar taking it out to the floor. Smart veteran move. Big shot. Arm ringer here. Oh, eats a forearm. Mm. Hit that thumbs up, baby. Power bomb it. Make sure you suplex the subscribe button and get on over to the boards. Get registered. Get us your call information. We can get you added to the roster. Look at the scoop. Big shot there. Picked him up. We're having a four count. Look at the power, but out the back door goes Dart. He's going to clip him. Down goes the Gladiator. The Great Lakes badass in control again. Oh, but the Gladiator sends him into the ring. Apollo Donis now going to the top. He flies, drives the elbow to the back. Going to roll him over and go for the cover. One, two, and he gets it done. Big win for Apollo Adonis. Very impressive win. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been told that we're going to get another rematch next week. Professor and Bobby Idol. Holy hell. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that has been Supreme TV, episode number one. And we now we already know next week on Supreme TV 2, Siali Maki running with Hawkeye, Curtis Cage in a fatal four-way. Raven takes on Camera Lady, and I've also just been informed, due to Raven attacking Camera Lady after the match, that the front office has now given Camera Lady the opportunity to pick a stipulation for the match if she so desires. Bad Intentions will take on the Canadian Blondes. Professor is going to be taking on Bobby Idol and so much more, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we have for you right here, right now, as we go off the air. Again, make sure you've subscribed. Make sure you freaking hit that thumbs up. And make sure you go to the link that I just put in the window yet again. And get in there, join this company, be a part of the fun. Everybody's welcome. There's a lot of call communities that are toxic. We're not allowing that here. The second you are toxic, you are gone. You are banned, you're out. We want nothing to do with you. We've all got something going on in our lives. We all have shit that make us angry, depressed, anxiety, whatever it might be. That something like this is your outlet. This is what you do to enjoy yourself outside of your reality, whatever it might be. So here's where we're going to have some fun. This is where we're going to enjoy ourselves. Use the boards to talk shit. Have fun. Nobody take it personal. The second you take it personal, you're gone too. Because nobody's on the boards trying to be a jerk for real. So if they call you a bitch, it's not personal. They're calling your animated character on your screen the bitch, not you. Laugh it off and call them one back or whatever you so desire. But Supreme Wrestling Federation, wow.
But ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you all being here tonight. Take care. Be safe. Love one another. Have your pet spayed or neutered. Wait, that's somebody else's shit. Anyway, I'm out of here. Later.